Thank you. The Honorable Sukas. House Chair, I understand Ms. Sukas has also got a connectivity issue. May, may I put the question yes, on her behalf? Yes, you may. Thank you. May. Thank you, House Chair. Honorable Minister, school dropout is a complex social phenomenon that requires an integrated approach from civil society and government departments. In light of the economic distress and societal dislocation caused by COVID-19, does the minister support her colleague, the Honorable Deputy Minister, who in an article in Business Tech dated 18 November stated that the new Basic Education Laws Amendment Bill, which, quote, is expected to hold parents more accountable than under current laws. This is being done exclusively by increasing the criminal penalty under the Act. This criminalization is not consonant in the ACDP's view with our constitution or the child law. Will the minister rather establish a working group including all social structure departments, academics and NGOs to study the phenomenon and make recommendations rather than criminalizing parents in this regard? Thank you, Deputy Chair. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Swart. The Honorable Minister. No, Chair, I fully agree with Mr. Swart to say the question of learner dropout is really bigger than the sector is bigger than parents. It's something that needs a societal interventions. We even ourselves looking to say in certain communities there's very low levels of dropout rates. So it also has to do with the, the culture, the social culture in different communities that children and parents find it find it normal not to really uh, 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 attend school where parents come in, because again, our research says, besides your academic challenges, it's also parental guidance, so that when a child does not go to school, parents must make it their responsibility to report the matter so that it can be dealt with. Because if a child does not come, you are not sure that parents have relocated, that's why the child is not here. Now the school has to take trouble of trying to trace the child and see what are the reasons that have forced the child not to come to school. So he's right that it is a very complex social, economic, and academic factor that needs all of us to work together. The president in particular has even during the teacher's award said to us, this must be one of the priorities that we look at to stem out a, a dropout rate. Mr. Notata is right. If we have lots of young people dropping out of school, it creates more social problems down the line. So it's something that we have to agree with. But I also agree that criminalizing parents may be too harsh, but they have to also come to the party and support both their learners and the schools to support our children to stay longer in schools. Thank you very much, Chair.